Hi, it's Evan from WCCF Tech, and we're covering some interesting news regarding the entry-level Intel Arc GPU. New details regarding Intel's entry-level Arc Alchemist graphics cards, powered by the XCHPG GPU architecture, have been revealed by Moore's Law is Dead. The Intel Arc Alchemist will comprise the top and entry-level segments. Moore's Law is Dead already provided insight on the 512 EU part, so now we have our focus shifted towards the entry-level lineup that will be launching in quarter one of 2022 for laptops, and followed with the desktop launch later that year in quarter two of 2022 as rumored. Interestingly, this is an upgrade over the previous specs which only mentioned a 64-bit bus interface and 4 gigabytes memory for the same model. It looks like the desktop models will be the ones featuring the higher-end 96-bit GDDR6 configuration. The cutdown variant will come with 96 EUs or 768 cores with a 64-bit bus interface. The card has been rumored with 4 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, but the source says we also can't rule out the possibility of a 3 gigabyte model. Both cards will have a 75 watt power consumption, which means that we will be looking at a connector-less graphics card for the entry-level segment. Performance is expected to land between the GeForce GTX 1650 and the GTX 1650 Super, but with ray tracing capabilities. One big advantage that Intel could have over AMD and Nvidia is that with these cards is that they might end up in the sub-200 US market, which has been almost completely abandoned in the current generation of GPUs. The GeForce RTX 3050 series only got a laptop release so far, with the RTX 3060 serving as the entry-level Ampere segment at $329 US, while the RX 6600 is expected to be AMD's entry-level solution for around $300. There is a recent rumor that AMD is planning to launch an AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT and RX 6400 desktop graphics cards so that might be the first true competition against Intel's entry-level part. Based on the timeline, the XE-HPG Alchemist lineup will compete against NVIDIA's Ampere and AMD's RDNA 2 GPUs, since both companies aren't expected to launch their next-gen parts until the end of 2022. NVIDIA and AMD are expected to release refreshes in early 2022, so that might give Intel's new lineup some competition, but based on current performance expectations, the refreshes may not bring drastic performance differences to the original lineup. These graphics cards will also be coming to the Mobility Platform 2, and will actually be featured in Alder Lake P laptops. But let us know what you think in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.